Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gertubo for here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the AIDC F-CK-1A Ching Ku. The F-CK-1 Chinku, commonly known as the Indigenous Defense Fighter, is a multi-combat aircraft named after Cheng Ching Ko, the last president of the Republic of China. The aircraft made its first flight in 1989. It was delivered to the Republic of China Air Force, Taiwan, in January 1994 and entered service in 1997. All 130 production aircraft were manufactured by 1999. The Taiwan initiated the IDF program when the United States refused to sell them F-20 Tiger Shark and F-16 fighter Fal or Fighting Falcon jet fighters following diplomatic pressure from China. Taiwan therefore decided to develop an advanced indigenous jet fighter. The Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation, or AIDC, based in uh, Taichung, Taiwan, designed and built the IDF jet fighter. So yeah, really interesting... Um, aircraft here it kind of does have a bit of an f-16 type influence to it when you look at it you can uh, definitely kind of see a bit of an f-16 into it obviously it's uh, very different in some aspects but still there you know it's kind of there and kind of interesting uh, it's a cool aircraft in our first ever taiwan uh indigenous aircraft so that's kind of cool um it's kind of confusing on where it actually kind of originates from considering it was made by taiwan but it's used by the Republic of China Air Force that's based in Taiwan, so I guess it is kind of a, t a Taiwanese original aircraft. Uh, that's what we're at least going to be calling it here. Uh, yeah, really interesting the aircraft, and no joke, that is actually the name, the F-CK-1 Chinko. I don't know if it was a, you know, kind of a known what they were doing there with name the naming procedure there, but very weird to say the very least. And uh, if you look at it in the title, you can kind of see what I mean by it. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and kind of take a look here at the aircraft. Actually, before we do, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more, you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in my video descriptions where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request you're choosing depending on which tier you sub to. Help support the work I do on my channel and um, is uh, greatly appreciated you earn a vehicle request of your choice. So definitely feel free to check it out. Again, links are always in my video descriptions. Anyways, let's go ahead and kind of dive into the uh, aircraft and see what we got going on here. Um, as you can see, we have kind of a two-tone type camouflage here with kind of a gray uh, color up on the top here and kind of a wider underbelly type design that kind of flows a little bit into the nose. Um, it's kind of an off-white, so I decided to use the polished dye rate as it's a little bit more of an off-white color compared to, you know, quartz, which is just pure white. Um, so kind of cool there. All the detail in here around the nose, all the little... Um, markers and all that fun stuff there uh, we have obviously the cockpit here all the details here on the top of the cockpit or on top of the fuselage for the details or for the loadout we have uh, some fuel pylons so some uh, external fuel tanks and we also have some i believe air to air missiles I'm not 100 percent sure on it but from my best guess and knowledge i would say they're probably air to air missiles and there's two on each wing and then we also have a loadout of bombs on the bottom here Again, not really sure what size, but, you know, pretty good size bombs. Probably about a thousand, bomb, thousand pound bombs each, or 500, one of those two. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for it. It's a pretty cool looking jet, pretty simplistic in our first ever uh, Taiwanese aircraft. And you can also use this, I guess, in some uh, kind of South Pacific type roles or something like that. Use it being flown by China or something. Overall, pretty cool build. Let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer 2. Now we're starting with layer 2 because we get a better basis of the aircraft built, and then from here we can easily go ahead and modify, or not really modify, but add on to this layer. It also gives you a good idea of the size of the aircraft as well, so if you're building this in a kind of a confined space, you kind of get an idea of how big it is, you know, regarding it. Also in addition to the dimensions that were shown at the beginning of the video. Also, for my aircraft tutorials, since this aircraft is for the most part completely symmetrical, uh, I'm going to be doing half on, half off. What this means, I'm going to be building half each of, of each layer, um, 
basically on camera and then it'll be up to you guys to copy the air side over in between layers it's pretty straightforward and simple and since the aircraft is completely symmetrical it uh really isn't too easy or too hard to uh replicate um also if you do want to build the in-flight or the landed version sorry uh we will be having a modification to the aircraft at the end of the tutorial which will show you guys how to make it landed uh to begin with though we will be building the aircraft as if it's in flight so we will be doing the landing gear add-on as a modification um later in the video if you do plan on have this landed uh you will want to make sure that you build layer two here three blocks total off the ground as you can see we have one two three blocks of space between the ground level and the bottom here of layer two so very important if it's off by a block it's going to sit properly on the ground so just make sure that that's correct once you guys are good with that, um, we can go ahead and get started now. For the front here, we're going to place down an air brick slab, followed by two end rods coming off the air brick slab. Going back from the air brick slab, we're going to place down an air brick stair, and then two black concrete blocks back from that stair. We're going to go ahead and then switch to our polished diary blocks. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 of these uh, full blocks back, followed by a polished diary upside down stair, and a polished diary top slab. Coming off that top slab, we're going to place down three end rods back, and then a wither skeleton skull on the last end rod, like so. And that right there is going to form the center line of your aircraft. Now from this point, everything we do out to the sides here, you're going to be copying the same thing over to the left sides after we get the right side built up. So to begin with, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull, come off the side of this narrow brick stair, followed by another brick wall back from the stair, and then we're going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair after that. We then want to take our polished direct stairs, and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 upside down stairs like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull, come off the side of the first stair here, and then an end rod come off the skull facing toward the front. Going ahead and focus our attention here to the rear, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3, die right walls back, and we're going to go and then switch to our die right full blocks, and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 die right full blocks back. Followed by a polished anisite block, stone brick upside down stair, and a stone brick top slab like that uh, to finish that off. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a block of concrete, come off the side of this um, this polished diet wall, like so, and we're going to then place down a stone bun that comes off of it facing forward. After that, going back from that block, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to just place down seven diorite full blocks, and then we're going to switch to diorite stairs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three. Die right upside down stairs, and then polish the inside top slab, followed by a skeleton skull on the side of the stair, like so. After that's all done, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a die right wall, coming off this black concrete block, one die right wall forward, and then one, two, three back. So you have something that looks like that there for the side intakes. Once um, that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and go to this first die right wall, and we're going to build one, two blocks out to the side, one, two, and just use a block that you can tell apart from the rest of the build because we will be deleting these blocks later we're just using it to count out to the sides uh, we're going to then place down a direct slab to the side here followed by one two three four five six and seven direct full blocks back back direct full blocks back and two uh direct slabs after that on both sides of the last direct slab we're going to place down a iron trap door to both sides like so once that's done, we're going to go ahead and build our first missile here. So for this, we're going to need some spoof cord stairs, spoof quartz slabs, skeleton skulls, birchwood fence gate, and birchwood signs. For this, we want to go ahead and go to this second direct full block from the front. We're going to go ahead and skip a space, and then we're going to place down a spoof quartz upside down stair like so. After that spoof quartz upside down stair, we're going to place down a uh, skeleton skull that comes off of it toward the front. And on both sides of it, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate like so, and then on the fence gate sides facing toward the rear, we're going to place down two birchwood signs. Coming off the back of the stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, smooth quartz top slabs, and then a smooth quartz upside down stair after that, after those three top slabs. On the back of the stair here, our skeleton school, birchwood fence gates here to both sides of this stair, and we're going to place down birchwood signs as well, coming off the fence gates like that. And after that's all complete there, uh, we can go and delete any of our marker blocks or anything like that and looking at from above here this is what we should have for layer number two this is a good overview of what it looks like and obviously you're going to take what we do on the right side and flip it over to the left side and before you move on to layer two this or layer one sorry you should have this complete for the layer anyways that right there is it for layer two let's move on to our next layer layer number one 
I guess moving into our next layer, we go ahead and moving into layer one. And for layer one, to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna be going ahead and going to the bottom of the nose here. We're gonna place down a dark liquid trapdoor on the bottom of the narrow brick stair, and then two dark liquid trapdoors on the bottom of these two black concrete blocks. After that, we're gonna go ahead and place down an iron trapdoor. So this right here is gonna do it there for the front of your nose, like so. Going ahead and moving toward the back, we're going to go ahead and skip a space from this iron trapdoor. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on your seventh die right block back, we're going to go on the bottom here and place down an iron trapdoor, followed by a second iron trapdoor after that. We're going to go ahead and then skip a space and then place down a green terracotta block with a zombie head coming off it toward the front. Going back from that green terracotta block, we're going to place down one more and then a mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to go ahead and skip a space again, place down a green terracotta block with a zombie head coming off it toward the front. An air green terracotta block back and a mossy cobblestone wall. Go ahead and go into the sides here on the second green terracotta block. We're going to place down one now to the side. A zombie head coming off it toward the front. Green terracotta block back and a mossy cobblestone wall back to make the bombs there on the sides. After that's all done, we want to go ahead and then go to the bottom of our black concrete block. We're going to place down a diorite top slab, followed by one that comes off it toward the front. And then come off this slab, we're going to go, and go one and two slabs back like that. And then in this space right here, we're going to place down an iron trapdoor which again will be on both sides there. After your diorite slabs, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of one, two, and three iron trapdoors back from those like so. And we also wanna place down our iron trapdoor on the bottom here of this polished diorite block, which is gonna be right after here. And we're gonna place down one and two forward, like that to a row three, basically come off that monster cobblestone wall right there. With that done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and then focus our attention here to our fuel tanks. We're going to place down two iron trapdoors there on the bottom of those two slabs, and then we want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That right top slabs going forward, and that right there is going to do it for those uh, extra fuel tanks. And with that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer one. So looking at it from the front here, you should have something that looks like this here for the bottom. We have some of our bombs on the bottom here, bottom of our fuel tanks done, and the bottom of our intakes all completed. Anyways, so that's it for layer one. Let's move on up to layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a narrow brick slab on top of the second black concrete block. And then back from that, we're gonna place down a polished diorite stair followed by a uh, polished diorite full block. Right here, you have the option of either closing this area off with six black concrete blocks or to go ahead and leave this space open and use that to build basically a cockpit uh, space or something like that. Uh, it's kind of up to you guys. This will be visible from the outside of the aircraft. So uh, just note you either want to close this off with black concrete to make it look uh, Somewhat decent or you can try to build an interior here if you do want to um, Anyways after that row is six of left open space or so black concrete We're going to place down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen Of these polished all right full blocks back followed by a polished nanosite block stone brick block stone brick wall after that's done, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a Wither Skeleton Skull here at a slight angle, followed by a polished diorite slab and a polished diorite stair. After that, we're going to go and take our full blocks. We're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 blocks back, glowstone block, and an orange stained glass block here on the very end. After that, again, going up to the front here, we want to go ahead and grab our polished diorite top slab. We're going to go back to our fifth block back, so right here, place down polished and say top slab, and then we're going to go ahead and go back from that top slab with two upside down stairs. So one, two, and then one, two, three, four, sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen full blocks back. A polished and say block, stone brick block, and a stone brick wall. Uh, once that's done, uh, again, going up to the front here, uh, we're going to go to these two full blocks. We're going to place down two polished anti top slabs there to this side. And we're going to then take our diorite and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks back like so. We're going to then take our diorite walls. We're going to go back one, two, three diorite walls. And then one, two anisite walls, followed by two stone top slabs back like that. Once uh, that's finished there, we want to go ahead and also go to the front here, and we're going to need to go ahead and grab our, uh, ourselves some item frames. And also some dark oak with signs. And in those item frames, we're going to be needing a yellow bed, a yellow concrete block, and also a black bed. We're going to start off by going ahead and going to this first block here. We're going to place down a dark oak with sign, item frame, and we want to go ahead and place down a yellow bed. 
rotated around so the pillow is facing toward the rear of the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and place down an item frame here on this uh, third block right here. Yellow concrete blocking the item frame, rotate around to kind of form a diamond shape and a dark liquid sign in it like that. And then right here, an item frame, black bed rotate around so the pillow is facing backwards and a dark liquid sign on the side of the item frame or on the side of the block as well. And you're going to have the same thing there on both sides there for some of the warning signs and little uh, marker markings and stuff like that on the side there. We also want to go ahead and go back to this last um, basically die right wall. We're going to place an item frame on the side here, a yellow bed, which we're going to rotate with the pillow facing toward the rear here and a dark liquid sign coming off of it like so for again, a little warning indicator. Once we have that all done there, we're going to go and focus our attention to the back. We're going to go and take our polished direct slabs. We're going to place in a row of one, two, three, four. Then a row of one, two, three, one, two, and then one like that for the uh, horizontal stabilizers. And then going ahead and moving our attention now to the wings. So for the wings here, to go ahead and get started, we're going to take our polished inside top sides. We're going to go to our second block right here. We're going to place down the top side of the side and then one, two, three, four, and five back. So you have a row of six. We're going to then place down a polished, uh, or sorry, just a smooth stone slab there on the end there for basically highlighting the flaps. We're going to go ahead and place down a narrow row of one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then a narrow smooth stone slab on the rear there. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a polished direct slab coming off the second one, like so, and then one, two, three, direct walls back, polished direct slab, and then a smooth stone slab on the end there. Next row here. Direct slab coming off this wall right here. One, two slabs back, and then a smooth stone slab. Our next row, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a direct slab. Come off the front here, like so. We're sorry, my bad. It's actually going to be a direct stair, I believe. Actually, yeah, no, it's going to be a stair. So we're going to go ahead and swap this out for an upside down stair, like so, and then two direct walls back from it. And then, of course, a smooth stone slab there on the end. Also, come off the stair toward the front, we're going to take our birchwood fence gates and place down one and two fence gates coming off the stair going forward. Once that's done, come off these two walls, we're going to place down two polished direct top slabs, followed by a smooth stone slab on the rear there. And going ahead and going out to our next row here, we're going to place down another smooth stone slab here, and then one direct wall, and then one, two, and three of these birchwood fence gates going forward like that um, for the track there that the missile on the side here is going to run on. Now, we're going to go ahead and build another one of these missiles. That's just going to be here on this side here of the wing. For this, we'll simply quartz upside down stair, skeleton school. We're going to go and then take our smooth quartz slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, smooth quartz slabs back, smooth quartz upside down stair, skeleton school. Then a bridge with fence gate, open up on both sides like that. Come off those stairs, and we want to go and then uh, grab ourselves a sign. We're going to place down a sign coming off the sides of the fence gates facing toward the rear of the aircraft. And same thing up here in the front. And also in the front here, we do want to place down... Oh, no, we already placed it, so we're good. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it for this layer. You're going to go and take it away down the right side here, flip it over to the left side. And this is what your top down should look like with this layer complete. As you can see, we're starting to actually see the shape of the aircraft and um, all that coming together. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number three and probably our longest layer. With that, let's move on to layer number four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down an Arabic slab on top of this first black concrete block right here. After that, we're going to go ahead and go back from it, placing down one, two, three, four, five, and six light gray stainless blocks. Now, I kind of messed up, and you do want to actually change this row of black concrete if you are closing that space off to actually seven blocks long. Uh, or you can choose to leave that space open, whichever you're choosing there, but we want to make sure that all these light gray stainless full blocks, all six here, are covered by black concrete underneath there. Again, you can try to build an interior. It's pretty small, so you won't really have too much space, but you can really try to make something work if you want to. Uh, after that row of six there of light gray stained glass blocks, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen stone blocks back, a polished inosite slab, and then we want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull coming off that slab like so. After that's done, going ahead and going back up to the front here, working our way out to the side, we're going to place down two light gray stained glass panes on these first two light gray stained glass blocks, followed by a polished direct slab, and then one, two, three. Stone slabs back, and then one, two, stone stairs back, and then a stone corner stair like so. After which, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stone blocks back, a polished anisite block, stone brick stair, and stone brick slab coming off the front of the stair like that. 
once uh, that's all complete here, we do have a difference in both sides. So uh, kind of pay close attention here as we do have this difference and uh, it is kind of important, I would say. To start off with, over here on the right side, we're going to place down a gray carpet, followed by two iron trap doors, and then two daylight detectors turned into the night mode. Now over on the left side, we have a different design. On the left side here, we have our gray carpet, which is on this first slab, our iron trap door. We then have an item frame with a red concrete block in it, rotated around on its side like so. After that item frame, we have a stone brick slab. Coming off that stone brick slab, we have a wither skeleton skull for basically the uh, gun here mounted on the aircraft. And then we have our daylight detector turned in night mode. So make sure you have that difference there on both sides. I would recommend kind of building up to this point the left side and making sure you do this real quick just so you don't forget it. Uh, but the gun is mounted over here and the other side over here is just completely flat. So again, that's pretty much our main difference really with the aircraft. So just make sure that that is uh, taken care of on both sides. Anyways, once that's done, we go back to being the same on both sides. We're going to place down a stone slab, a narrow brick slab, and then we're going to go, and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 stone slabs back, a polished anside slab, and then a skeleton skull on the side of that stone brick stair like so. After that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a light gray carpet, two iron trap doors back, and then we're going to, go and take our daylight detectors and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 daylight detectors back and we're going to change these all to night mode like so. Once we have that done, we're going to go and take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3 iron trap doors back and then we're going to take our light gray carpet and cover the tops here of these slabs with light gray carpet. After that's done, going ahead and moving to our wings, we're going to go and place down a light gray carpet piece here fall by four iron trap doors back and then another light gray carpet. We're going to go and do the same thing here again. Like so. We then want to place down their light gray carpet, two iron trap doors, and then two gray carpets back. Again out to the side here, light gray carpet, iron trap door, light gray carpet. We're then going to go and place down a row three of light gray carpet, row two, and then one just like that. Now for the missile here on the side, we're going to place down an iron trap door on the back stair, fall by a um, sign coming off of it and in the front here we're going to place down a redstone repeater with the notches flicked apart like so just like that and once we have that all done that's going to basically wrap up what we have here for uh, the top up here one thing you could also do is I actually just kind of thought of it um, it's not perfect but you could do it is you could actually put stone pressure plates on the top here to kind of give a little bit more of a stone type color to the aircraft and I kind of like that a little bit more um, as it kind of resembles what we're trying to go for a little bit better. The only problem is you have the gaps so you can kind of pick and choose what you kind of prefer here. It's kind of up to personal preference if you want a color that's more kind of with the aircraft itself or if you want something that's a little bit more consistent and not having the little lines here. Again, here's a bit of an overview of what it looks like on both sides there. Um, so kind of something you can kind of pick and choose between if you guys want to. Anyways, that right there is it for uh, layer number four and with that let's move into layer number five all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number five for layer five to go ahead and get started with here we're gonna place down narrow brick slab on the second light gray stainless block in that row from the previous layer we're gonna go ahead and go back from that slab two light gray stainless blocks a narrow brick stair narrow brick slab stone slab daylight detector turn to night mode iron trap door a lever flicked backwards like that we're gonna skip a space place down an iron trap door daylight detector turn to night mode Stone stair, stone slab, and then one, two, three, four, and five stone blocks followed by a stone slab there on the very end. After that is all done there, that is uh, pretty much it for your center line, and we're going to go ahead and now move out to the sides. So for the sides here, we're going to go on top of this lake race thing was plain, place down a uh, wither skeleton skull here at a very slight angle, and we're going to go and then go back one and two, lake race thing was panes, wither skeleton skull, and a skull right there after it at a slight angle like so. We do also have one tiny difference here compared to both sides. Over here on the right side, on the right side only we're going to place down a iron rail right here on this stone block. Again, that's the right side and the right side only. And that right there is pretty much all we have here for this layer. So pretty simple stuff there for layer 5. With that, we're going to move into our final layers here, layers 6, 7, 8, and 9. We're going to put basically put, put the vertical stabilizer on and we'll be done with the in-flight version of the model. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into layers uh, six through nine.
All right, guys, go ahead and move into layer six for nine. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're gonna go, ahead and go to our tail here. And we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone block on top of this second one here, followed by two coal ore blocks back from it, and then a smooth stone slab like that on the very end there. We're gonna go ahead and place down a narrow stone block that goes up like so, followed by a second stone block back, and then a smooth stone slab full block like that, and a stone brick wall coming off of it. On both sides of this stone wall, or stone block, we're gonna place down a yellow bed, dark oak with sign, on both sides of the block here, and basically have a little design like that. We're gonna go and then place down a stone block going up like this, and then a smooth stone block after that, followed by a stone brick wall. And then lastly, for our, our last tip of the vert, we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone block on top here, and a stone slab that goes back like so to go ahead and finish that design off for it. And that right there is gonna basically complete the in-flight version here for the F-CK-1 Chinko. Um, if you guys are wanting to build the landed version, we're going to go ahead and move on to that now, how to modify it. But if you're just here for the in-flight version, then you're pretty much good to go. With that, let's go ahead and move into the landed version. Alright guys, go ahead and move into the landing gear. So for the landing gear here, we're going to go ahead and start with the front one. For the front one here, we're going to go to this second right block, or yeah, basically the second one back. So you have this iron trap door, we have our first one here. And then our second block, we're going to delete this block, followed by the second block after it, and then the third block after it. So you have a nice space of three here cut out into the aircraft. When we get to this point, we're gonna go ahead and take our smooth quartz slabs. We're gonna go ahead and place down a full block right here, a quartz slab here, and then we're gonna go ahead and place down a smooth quartz slabs down stair right there in that location. We're gonna go ahead and drop down from this stair with a wall of diorite, and we're gonna go ahead and then place down a smooth quartz stair coming off that diorite wall like so. On the back of the wall here, we're going to go ahead and also place down a lever. On the bottom of the wall here, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate. And we're going to go ahead and open the fence gate toward the front, like so. Coming off the fence gate toward the front, we're going to place down an item frame with a snowball in the item frame. And then on the bottom of the fence gate here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a block of coal. We're going to place down a block of coal here on the bottom with a lever coming off both sides. On both sides of the block of coal, we're going to place down an item frame and then a white stained glass pane in the item frame. And then up from that, on both sides of this fence gate, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like so. Once uh, we have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab our slabs. We're going to go ahead and go next to this, right on the bottom of the stair. We're going to place down a top slab of diorite, followed by one and two more slabs back, so you have a row of three. And that right there is going to do it there for your front wheel, and now we're doing now moving into the rear wheels. Alright guys, I'm moving into our rear landing gear. Now for the rear wheels here, pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and go into this location here. We're going to go ahead and go to this full block right here of diorite. We're going to delete this block and the iron trap door below it. We're going to go and delete this iron trap door, this full block, this diorite top slab, and this diorite full block right there to create the space inside here for the wheel. We want to go ahead and, go, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, smooth quartz slab right here, followed by a birchwood fence gate and then a diorite wall like that going back. So obviously the front up here, the slab, and then toward the back here, the wall. We're gonna go and drop down from this wall with a narrow diorite wall like so, followed by a smooth quartz up down stair face in that direction. And then coming down from the, the uh, stair here at an angle, we're gonna place down the block of coal with a lever coming off the side facing toward the stair to kind of connect up to the stair like so. We also wanna place down a dark oak, or sorry, a stone button on the side of the wheel here with an item frame and a white stained glass pane in the item frame like so. After that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our uh, diorite stairs. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of diorite stairs like this on the bottom of these two walls here. And then in this section here, we're going to place down a stair coming off this wall up here. And we want to go ahead and then place down a diorite top slab on the bottom of the stair like that to go and create the doors here that would open up for the landing gear. And you're going to go and take that same design, flip it over to the other side, and you'll have both landing gear complete for the build. Anyways, that right there is going to complete my design here for the landed version of the F-CK-1 uh, Chinko. And uh, with that, that's going to complete this tutorial. Anyways, hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do want to be build, using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be the thing from assigning the build. Tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. Uh, overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And... Uh, that's pretty much it for that. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.